What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to another Fazbear Frights summary video. So in today's video, we are going through the third story in Felix the Shark. Um, it is called You're the Band, which is interesting. Um, a lot of people in the last video were asking how I have these Felix the Shark leaks, because Felix the Shark, the book, is coming out on the 1st of February 2022 and it is the 4th of December. <laughs> Somebody had gotten the book early somehow, I have no idea how they've gotten the book two months early but we don't doubt that. Um, but yeah, they shared the stories and now we have the summaries of them. Uh, and this one apparently is very interesting, I actually haven't read through this summary yet so this is going to be an interesting, an interesting thing for me to read. Thank you Blazing Storm on my Discord for sharing the summary, I know it came from the the, um, the wiki, but um, thank you for sharing it with me, <laughs> it makes it easier. So let's just go straight into this, uh, we know it's about the, the, the mask, the Freddy mask I believe, so um, hopefully, hopefully it's going to turn out to be a good story. So Sylvia is worried for her 7 year old son Timmy after he develops a strong obsession with Freddy's. He claims to have visited the pizzeria and met the animatronic characters despite the fact that no pizzerias were continued to be run after a tragic incident. Um, that's cool. So Timmy essentially is being attracted to the pizzeria like in a lot of other stories. Um, I feel like kind of in Fetch Greg was being attracted to the pizzeria. I feel like there's a lot of other characters that seem to have some sort of, um, they seem to be pulled toward the pizzeria or an animatronic or something. Um, they're kind of the ones being um, captured. It's not a very good term for it, but we move on. Sylvia admits to his psychologist, Dr. Monroe, that she feels that Timmy has become two different people. One who, One is who she already knew, and the other talks about events that he couldn't possibly have witnessed. One week before, Sylvia purchases a Freddy mask from an online seller named Retro Merch with two threes instead of E's for Timmy's birthday. Later, Sylvia tries to find Retro Merch to see what they sold, but the account has disappeared. The Freddy mask arrives in a battered box, heavy and with a weird smell. At his Freddy's themed birthday party, Timmy invites two friends to be Bonnie and Chica and wears the mask as Freddy and sings along. I feel like this is very reminiscent of kind of the FNAF 4, um, the, the masked bullies. Um, of course it's going to come up like that. There's no Foxy here, so Michael Afton uh, isn't directly in the story. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it, it does seem very reminiscent of that and of course the Dread Bear like the mask mini game where you put on the mask and the right animatronic has to come to the door. Um, yeah, th that's all I can really think of that connects to that. But it seems like this has strange FNAF 2 and FNAF 4 vibes. I don't know why, I don't, yeah. Later that night, Sylvia hears screams from Timmy's room but finds nothing in his room. The next day, Timmy talks ominously about children found in Freddy's that were lined up against a wall. Interesting, weren't the six kids in 1985 in Into the Pit, lined up against a wall with birthday hats on top of their heads. That's strange. Uh, he acts unusually by doing things he ordinarily would not and has large tantrums at home. She finds Timmy talking to a shadow. Huh. So it seems like everything... Huh. I, I, I almost feel like I get why this was scrapped already because there's a lot going on. Like, Timmy seems to be kind of having nightmares, he's, he's seeing something in the shadows, um, there's Bonnie and Chica masks and a Freddy mask, it seems like there's a lot going on and a lot to pick out and I feel like that's why it was possibly scrapped. Um, he acts unusually by doing things he would not usually do in large tantrums and her she finds Timmy talking to his shadow. He also attacks his grandfather after he inaccusedly holds a knife saying that I just saw the knife and I had to protect the others. He doesn't explain who the others are. Okay. At night, Sylvia spots Timmy being lured away by a shadow figure. Purple means shadows in the games, so um, there's, there's that connection there with William Afton, I guess. As she chases him to get him back, a man named... A man named Mike stops her. He explains that he is a security guard for the old Freddy Fazbear's Pizza 
and he suspects the mask Sylvia ordered was the head of the Freddy animatronic that was stolen a few weeks ago. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is why it was scrapped. <laughs> um, yeah, that's Michael Afton, right? That's definitely Mike. It has to be. He says that the mask may have harmed Timmy and that he had already broken into a house to take the mask back. Sylvia and Mike drive to the old Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. They find Timmy on the stage next to Bonnie and Chica. Black and white striped tentacles shoot from the walls of the pizzeria and begin to strangle Sylvia. I love this. I love this so much. Is it a puppet story? Oh my god. Mike quickly puts the mask on, uh, back on Timmy, causing its eye holes to glow before grabbing the mask off of Timmy and pulling him off the stage. The puppet descends from the ceiling towards Timmy, but Mike protects him. The, t the puppet retreats and lets Sylvia go as Freddy walks in and takes his place on stage. What? This is so cool! As they drive home, Mike explains his theory that something was alive in the Freddy mask and that it entered Timmy when he put on the mask. He also believes that the shadow figure was trying to take the living thing out of Timmy. Interesting. This seems very complicated for a Fazbear Friday. I mean, not like the others aren't complicated. Mike takes- uh, Mike makes Sylvia and Timmy a pro- uh, Mike makes Sylvia and Timmy promise to keep all that happened a secret finally together as Sylvia and Timmy bond as a family. Well, that's a nice ending to the Fazbear Fright series. I don't know. I don't know about this. This is very- like, what does the puppet have to do with a lot of this? Like, I understand it, it's- it's- this is such a cool story and it seems to be very FNAF 2 centred. Am I right in saying that? Because there seems to be the puppet, there seems to be a Freddy mask, like just like the mask that you pull up on FNAF 2. Um, there also seems to be, well, Mike of course, and there seems to be- there was something- oh, Shadow Freddy. Um, or a shadow, that, yeah, there seems to be a shadow. So, I don't know, was- was the sh- so what does that mean for Shadow Freddy in the games? I have no idea. There's, there seems to be some sort of connection between Shadow Freddy and some... I don't know. I have no idea. The real question is, do you guys have any ideas what any of this means? Because I certainly don't. It's a very cool story and I really like how the, t the puppet has black and white striped tentacles. Uh, it's very Nightmare esque uh, instead of just the puppet. Uh, I actually really like that, it's, it's a very creepy feature of Nightmare on that I wish other animatronics kind of had. We seem to be getting kind of more of that in Security Breach, possibly with the tentacle. Um, but this is, this is sick. This seems to be a very sick story, but confusing, uh, too much going on, and kind of, I guess, not that great of an ending, because um, they just, they're just like, yay, we're happy now. Um, but yeah, I, I like the concept. I feel like that was why it was scrapped in the first place because it was too complex. And then there, there, was, there was like Michael Afton and loads of different things going on. Anyway, yeah, that's my take on it. So um, yeah, what, what, what do you think of this story? Have you got any theories for it? And um, yeah, make sure you subscribe and stick around for more videos. I'm gonna be covering, wait, why is it called You're the Band? Oh, I guess because because um, Timmy was almost being Freddy because he was wearing the. Fr I don't know. I. <laughs> um, next time I think we're we're going to be covering the second story in this book, which is like an anomaly. It's definitely a massive anomaly in the entire series. So we're going to have to go through that. Uh, it's called the scoop, and it's very interesting. But anyway, if you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Goodbye.